Hi, I'm Mateo and today we're back on Pet Simulator 99 and I'm going to show you a way to cheat the system to be able to craft a Titanic Pilgrim Turk. Now this method is rather risky and it might end up backfiring in our face, but nonetheless we are here to give it our best shot. I am putting up over a billion of my own diamonds to hopefully make this work and if it does it's going to pay off big time. So if you enjoy watching me risk all of my hard earned gems on this method, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe for more pet Head simulator 99 content now let's just get straight into this video all right you guys so here we are in game in pet simulator 99 and we have a major problem if i head over here to the titanic pilgrim turkey you'll see that above his head it said there are only 860 of these left in existence so that means that we are getting very desperate and we need a lot of pets in order to combine to make our titanic pilgrim turkey now this is very bad news because we are missing quite a few pets in order to do this and we're even missing the last upgrade for pet savings which is going to decrease the amount of pets that we need so we still need a thousand more maple leaves in order to do this and sadly we received a major major nerf in the game which made it a whole lot harder to even make this titanic turkey now i've even heard that this chest over here is harder to break which would make it harder to get those auto gift bags but personally it seems like it's just as easy to break as it was before but the major nerf actually came with the chances to get the regular pets that you need to combine as well as how many of those pets it takes to make it so this nerf actually came to only the first two pets so the corn cat as well as the huge scarecrow dog are both going to be twice as expensive to make as they were on the first day of this update being out so once i get that next upgrade it's going to take 10 corn cats in order to make one scarecrow dog and then in order to make a corn cat it's going to take 10 of these pumpkin spice cats so that was the major nerf besides that it still is only going to take five of the scarecrow dogs to make a pumpkin spice cat and then five of the pumpkin spice cats to make a corn cat and then of course five corn cats to make the titanic pilgrim turkey so now i have been opening on a few accounts so i have a few more pets than this but when i was over here checking out how many pets i have left it really got me thinking of a strategy to potentially be able to get this titanic before it's gone because people are opening this so fast that if i don't do something soon there aren't going to be any left by the time i actually have all the pets to be able to even go ahead and craft it so we got creative now i actually thought of this method when i was making my last video on the best way to get these maple leaves because the best way to get the maple leaves is pretty much just by grinding but the overall best way is actually by opening these autumn gifts now i don't know why i'm hovering over this chest you just get autumn gifts from this chest but what i should be hovering over is the actual gifts so as you guys can see in the top of the loot pool for these autumn gifts you can see the three different versions of the pumpkin spice cat now that pumpkin spice cat is very important because in order to make this titanic pilgrim cat we are going to need 25 of these huges and that is all we need so instead of spending the next 24 hours using 100 different alts, opening every type of pet that we can, I thought we might as well just open all of these gift bags and hope to get a bunch of the pumpkin spice cats from them, and hopefully that will allow us to actually craft one of these titanic pilgrim turkeys. And a bonus to this method is that by opening all of these autumn gifts that we have, we actually are going to be able to get a bunch more of the maple leaves so that we can max out our upgrade, which we're going to need in order to combine this so it's basically a win-win situation right uh it actually probably is not gonna be because i saw this tweet that i'll have on the screen here which is the odds from kopi cat on twitter where he says the odds to get one of these pumpkin spice cats from this gift is actually a one out of 3800 chance which means if we multiply that one in 3800 chance by the cost of each of these gift, gift bags which is 400,000, that means we are gonna get a total cost of 1.52 billion per one of these huges and if we check over here in the trading plaza the wrap value of the huge pumpkin spice cat is only 385 million so it would have been a whole lot better if we just spent all of our diamonds buying these huge pumpkin spice cats instead of these measly 2500 autumn gifts but on this channel we don't use logic so we are just gonna go ahead and open them anyways and hope for the best now if we do get super lucky and actually get a rainbow version of the huge pumpkin spice cat from this gift bag 
bag, then we would be actually pretty close to breaking profit. But obviously it is a very rare chance to get this. The gold one is selling for like 399. And then of course I showed you earlier, the regular version is selling for 385 million. So is this the best financial decision? Probably not, but we're still going to go ahead and do it. Now, not only that, I did have to take a little break between recording and the wrap value of these dropped a total of like 100,000 in the past 30 minutes or so. So by the time you're watching this, it probably is going to be a lot cheaper for you to do this. Now, I'm not too sure why the wrap value dropped that much. There is still 729 of these Titanics available, which means in wrap, this actually lost like a little over 200 million diamonds in value value so that's just another loss on top of this but again we do need as many maple leaves as possible so we might as well open this and honestly let's just hope for the best here i also have it binded to my key so that we can open a ton of these at once obviously we have 2500 so it is going to take quite a bit now one thing i do like doing on this channel is actually using a stopwatch to find out how many of a gift bag that i can open in just a minute or whatever time frame is uh, fit for that type of item so of course we are going to do that for these autumn gifts now i do have a keybind set so that i can open them pretty fast but we do have 2520 of these so let's see how many we can open in a minute of it using the keybind and we also do have 1716 maple leaves so i'll see how many maple leaves we get from that many gift bags as well this should be pretty interesting and time all right you guys so we open an absolute boatload of of these gift bags i didn't see any huges go in honestly i think i might have opened way too many this video might be much much shorter than i anticipated but now that we see all of the items coming in let's see how many gift bags we went through all right so we had 2520 which means that we went through exactly 320 of these autumn gifts in just 60 seconds oh my goodness you guys and we got a ton of these maple leaves from opening this i believe i had 1717 maple leaves before i open this which means i got 1100 maple leaves from just 320 of the gift bags so that's pretty much three to four maple leaves that you guys can expect to open from each of these autumn gifts that is really good that actually means we can afford the last savings upgrade here that is pretty huge you guys let's get that now another upgrade a lot of people actually don't get because they don't know what it does but better variance is really good because when you actually upgrade this, it gives you a small but mighty chance to actually upgrade the pet that you're comboing. So for example, if you're upgrading just regular pets into a corn cat, that corn cat is going to have a 3% chance at being gold. So that is definitely a very good upgrade. I definitely suggest getting like one each of all of these because they're so cheap for the first one. But next up, I do want to max out more egg luck because this should help me to get all of the other stuff because even after the Titanic are gone this event is still really good at getting a ton of free to play huges so if i have even more egg luck this will allow me to upgrade to those free to play huges even when the titanic is gone so this is going to be the next thing i upgrade and upon searching my inventory it does not look like i got one of the huge pumpkin spice cats so that is quite unfortunate but we do have a lot more gift bags to go so this time around i'm actually going to open for let's say like three minutes and if I keep on the pace that I just did with the one minute mark, that means I should be able to open roughly 1,000 of these gift bags in those three minutes. So I'll see you guys in a second when that's finally done. All right, and we are done. Now that was very laggy, you guys. It was glitching out a ton, so I'm not sure if I was able to get a thousand open that time, but as you see, we have a ton and ton of items rolling in. Let's take a look and see the damage damage for what we got okay you guys we did a whole lot more than i thought i believe we were at exactly 2200 of these autumn gifts before that three minute marker so that means we went through about 1325 ish autumn gifts in just three minutes so that we definitely beat our pace that we had last time and one thing we could check to see is if we got that booth or even the new hoverboard so okay yeah looks like we got quite a few of these new autumn hoverboards let me 
equip that really quick. As you can almost see, because there's so many darn items in my face and you really can't turn off item notifications anymore, the hoverboard has a bunch of the various colored autumn leaves, so that is very cool. Definitely something nice to have. And then we also have the booth. So yeah, we have 17 of these autumn booths. These are worth 1.26 million a piece. So that is definitely very good as well. Now, the true question is if we did get a pumpkin spice cat. Now, I didn't see it. And yeah, this is not looking like a very good opening at all. I definitely don't suggest doing this, you guys. We just opened a big, big, big big chunk of all of those that we had i believe we opened just over 500 million worth and we have not gotten a huge yet now one thing we did get is 4,000 of these maple leaves that is actually incredible you guys let's go over to the autumn upgrades and see what we can get so like i said i think more egg luck is the best bet so let's just max this out not even that much 500 and then a thousand to max that out and then i think the second best thing would be this increased huge luck so i'm gonna go ahead and buy that for 125 buy it for 250 uh, we still have 2,000. Let's just let's just max it all the way out. At max increased huge luck, you get a increased chance of hatching a huge by 25%. So that is also very good. The next thing I'll probably get is this better variance because even though it is a very small percentage chance, the amount of value you get if that does hit is just astronomical. So yeah, let's just continue opening these, I guess. I'm actually going to head out into the regular hub just because it's going to be a little easier to see so here we are in the world three hub now i think this is just going to be the best place because i can see if the huge pops up so honestly let me not make this video any longer than it has to be let's just go ahead and begin opening the rest of the gift bags that we have hopefully we get that huge maybe even a rainbow version to clutch up this opening and give us a little bit of profit i guess i'll see you guys when i'm almost done opening oh and i think we are done you guys and i don't have any good news it seems like i did not get the huge unless i missed it it definitely is possible because there was a lot of items coming to me but let's see for ourselves what is it called the pumpkin spice cat right and we did not get the huge at all from one billion diamonds worth of these gift bags and we are completely out of the autumn gifts so that is quite unfortunate i probably should have boxed everything up just so we could see what we did get at least but i can tell you guys from experience these things are definitely not worth opening unless you really want to get your autumn upgrades because as you can see i did get another 3300 of these maple leaves so that is very good i guess we shall come back into this event world and get whatever upgrades we can afford the first one i'm gonna get is this better variance for 400 that's gonna give me an additional two percent so that actually wasn't that good let me get the next one for 800 that's gonna give me an additional three percent so now it's getting a little expensive so i think it's probably smart to get one each of these geez actually the shiny chance one is really good because it gives you like five percent per upgrade and this one is only two percent per upgrade and this one's one percent so let's get another one of these shiny ones that would be insane if we we were able to make a rainbow shiny titanic obviously we're not gonna have enough pets to do that unfortunately but we might as well get all of these upgrades while we're here let's get this one and then you, honestly we might as well just get the final shiny upgrade and then we can just spend the rest of the leaves that we have on some more boss chest damage because why not and i'm not gonna lie you guys this did not bring us much closer to the titanic pilgrim turkey as i thought it was and we can actually go ahead and start combining now that i have all of the upgrades so with everything that i have i can get a total of 19 of these corn cats so let me go ahead and craft those now with those 19 corn cats that gets me exactly four of these huge scarecrow dogs so let's go ahead and create those one by one by one watch them pop out maybe we get a gold version because of that one upgrade that we got we got one huge scarecrow dog another huge scarecrow dog another huge scarecrow dog and no gold so that is quite unfortunate so not only did that not get us the titanic pilgrim turkey that didn't even get us one of the huges that we were trying to open from the gift bag in the first place so i guess you could pretty much scrap everything that i was talking about at the beginning of the video unfortunately this method does not work and i think kobe cat's odds to actually get that huge from this gift bag is kind of true so it is most definitely not not worth it 
you're most definitely going to be better off by just opening pets and trying to get lucky. And even if you want to spend some gems, make sure you just go ahead and buy the huges outright because that's going to save you guys a whole lot of gems and you can use me as proof of that. Either way, if you respect me putting all my diamonds on the line for this failure of a video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Pet Simulator 99 content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and peace out.